Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Gemini. I hope you guys are all doing great. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every Gemini and it will not resonate with every Gemini cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Gemini or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. If it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok. If you're interested in collective readings, you can find the links to both in the description box. All right. What's going on with my Gemini collective? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. The Fool, Aquarius energy. Six of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. The Magician, Aries energy. The Nine of Cups. The Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody is, there's an offer coming in, but there's indecisiveness about this offer. Somebody's taking action to try to, to make something happen or manifest something here. Wanting to take a leap of faith on something that makes them happy. Six of Pentacles. But somebody is not in a place to be able to have equal give and take here. That's why. That's why. Because somebody with the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, you and this person are on the same level. Or somebody doesn't feel, somebody is incapable of giving the same, like, there's, somebody's incapable of reciprocity when it comes to this. Nine of Swords, you guys are worried that this person is not going to be able to, it's not, it's not going to be a balanced relationship. That this Ace of Pentacles that they're coming in with is a bluff. Yeah, I mean, they're just straight, it's a lie. It's just, they're telling you what you want to hear. They're not being serious. They're playing you. Yep. What's the magician? The four of wands. Like somebody's taking, what are they taking action to do? The hanged man to gain new perspective. Nine of Pentacles, they're, they're gonna, they're coming towards you with that Ace of Pentacles, that stability. What's taking, but it's slowly, why? The Ten of Swords, they're going through some type of ending or they're trying to recover from something with like maybe, what did I just get it? Yeah, they're trying to heal from something or work like they're recovering from some type of ending or something here, but their goal is to be in a stable, committed relationship with you, marry you with the Four of Wands here. But you guys don't trust this person. You do make them very happy. Why is the trap? Why is the fool here? The seven of wands. Somebody's okay. What's this have to do with Gemini? The two of wands and the nine of wands. Awakening to what? Tr somebody's getting clarity about something. What's this have to do with anything? The Knight of Wands, that they've been, they're unstable. <laughs> so somebody's, that's that new perspective. Somebody's seen themselves that they're very fickle. They're unstable. Maybe emotionally unstable. So is that why, what are they doing here? There may, somebody maybe is coming to the conclusion that the reason why they've been so um, all over the place is because they still needed to heal from some type of ending. So, or they, they just know they've been very like flighty when it comes to you. So I see them wanting to apologize to you. But what's this have to do with the, the, they're taking a leap of faith and apologizing to you? What is this leap of faith? Temperance, trying to reconcile, make things right with you, balance the scales. Trying to have a new beginning. But this person still is very immature or they still don't have much to give to this connection. Like they're not in a good place to do so. So I see you guys not knowing if like you guys are going to ever make it to this Ace of Pentacles with this person. Or not knowing if you should continue to deal with this person because you don't know if it's going to lead. You want the Ace of Pentacles. You want stability. You don't know if it's ever going to lead to that. 
or there's this apprehensiveness here. We have plastic, okay. What about that? Freedom. So somebody maybe freed themselves from a connection where they thought they were in love. That's that maybe that ten of swords, them leaving a situation where they thought they were in love with a person or there was mutual love and there wasn't. Freeing themselves from that and now what? Now somebody's been focusing on themselves or they've just not really been in a place to wanting to commit to anything because they're probably still healing from that other situation. Yeah, indecisive. I also feel like somebody has just, you're not sure if this person truly loves you or they're not sure if you truly love them. Not sure of the relationship. That's the apprehensiveness. Somebody feels invalidated or triggered. Why? Hot and cold because somebody has been so light in and out with them. Sending them mixed signals, inconsistent. Yeah. So what now? Jealous. Why is jealousy here? Unlocking. Oh, so what's maybe triggering somebody to finally open their heart to you and remove the blockages from their life is a fear of losing you. A fear of they don't want anybody else to have you. Yeah. They don't want you leaving them out in the cold. What's this mean for a Gemini? work this person maybe leaves you out in the cold a lot because they work a lot okay but they regret that they're gonna or they're going to regret that what are they going to regret here because they know that you're a blessing you're their dream person wish fulfillment all that they've ever wanted and what are they regretting they're going to tell you this yeah tell you what that you've made them very happy they found happiness in you they feel very blessed and grateful to have encountered you and they regret like being so unavailable or avoiding intimacy with you um bringing the emotional burdens from the past into your relationship but since encountering you this person feels forever changed they feel like a new self has, is emerging or it is if you were worried that this person was actually changing or working on themselves taking the necessary actions that they said they were taking they are okay so say more about what this means for gemini all around them they don't feel like they can you and this person could be energetically connected telepathically communicate with each other but they don't feel like they can like escape this connection Okay, what are they, what is this, what are this overthinking energy? Children. Maybe there's a, a connection that they feel like haunts them still that with somebody that, that they overthink or what does this have to do with Gemini? Secrets. What is the secrets? Vacation. What does that have to do with anything? Mirroring. Cursed more to be revealed what is going to be revealed somebody doesn't have good intentions oh what does that have to do with gemini and this person they're dealing with no i see good things happening for you and this person that you're dealing with i feel like there's maybe somebody else here and i was literally thinking like oh this is a good reading there's no third party energy coming through there is there's somebody else here that possibly you have children with or that they have children with a karmic situation that they still need to close out or that they need to heal from still but this karmic doesn't have good intentions what are their intentions fights they're going to be trying to fight with your person or fight with you toxic wow why is my rock here what's that to do with gemini engagement what's it mean for the new person spotlight i'm telling you you and this person they're not gonna like this it says a love that grows with time that's you and this person but this new person is going to be your rock security stability solid foundation loved and supported engagement commitment promises making it official marriage in your future high profile relationship power couple people envy the connection that's the ex this is similar to taurus's reading um how is the ex going to feel about this what are they going to do something is brewing yeah breaking point losing emotional strength on the verge of what Wanting to reconcile. This came through for Taurus as well. Wanting to work things out. Returning. They feel like there's unfinished business. They're waiting for what? They're holding out hope for what? That they will be able to have a new beginning. Or hold on. What does that have to do with Gemini? So they don't feel like they can. Oh, they're trying to. Mm, it's like this person kind of does want to reconcile. They feel like there's unfinished business. What, what does this reconciliation mean for the ex that's trying to come back? 
knowing what are they trying to come back for because they're just stuck in they're destructive they're stuck in a they're not they're refusing to let go of something that's toxic which is their their connection with your person or their connection with you all right um where is that going to lead to ghosting yeah they're not going to get the closure that they want it says abrupt ending no closure ending all communication But it's like this person feels like they're not they're not going to get the outcome that they want in this situation because your person or you are moving on. Take care of resonates. It could be you or the person you're dealing with. They really would like to. They were thinking about maybe reconciling with your person, but now they know that that's not a possibility. OK, they kind of view you or your person as the forbidden fruit now. OK, they're trying to hold out hope that there is. What about new love for this ex? Love offer. Yeah. finality finality of what heartbreak yeah this is a karmic they're gonna try to come back in with some type of expression of emotions or love or something like that but this is a done deal it says permanent ending no more chances good goodbye to the old and i feel like this person is gonna be heartbroken but this is an unsustainable relationship Full of turbulence it's toxic it needs to come to an end yeah it's like this is definitely karmic energy but there's a new cycle coming in for you guys new beginnings and it looks like there's gonna be a lot of passion yeah this is a new love experience coming in for you you're gonna maybe feel something different for this person than you've ever felt for anybody else But I do see somebody running from this connection until they like are certain about this. Yeah, definitely going to maybe even go through some lessons with this new person before you guys get it right. Okay, so let's see here. Advice for my Gemini collective in this type of situation. It says answers. Yeah. If you've been confused about a situation or a person, rest assured that you will get the answers you seek. We have heart calling. Reveal your heart's calling. You have everything you need and now is the time to follow your heart's desire. We have crowning. You're being initiated right now. Let go of who you were and embrace the mystery of who you have yet to become. And we have abundance. That's the second time that's come out. It says be open to receiving blessings and abundance from the universe. We have back on track. Yeah, maybe time to reassess your goals and lay a proper foundation to help you get back on track. Develop a new strategy. Significant time periods for my Gemini Collective. All right, we have ship has sailed. I'm telling you says the opportunity has already passed too late no second chances over it don't let the opportunity pass you by one situation is a done deal all right do not go back into that that ship has sailed or this person's going to try to come back but the ship has sailed all right but there is an opportunity presented itself for you to you don't go back into this karmic cycle because there's a, a golden opportunity that's going to or is already presenting itself to you but with that karmic person that past person your ex that ship has sailed or it should have sailed it says you already know it says what you believe to be true is true trust your intuition we have november could be significant we are in the month of november okay it says be grateful for what you have surrounded with positive people and it says careless with time no care in the world don't neglect your responsibilities somebody like didn't handle something in a timely manner or spirit says don't get into that we have capricorn season here so that could be significant it says hard work, hard work will pay off. Weigh up every pro, pro and con. Pros and cons. All right, let's get a little bit more clarity. What's the significance of November? Sexuality. Embrace your sexual nature. Experience divine bliss and link your wild glow power to that hot cosmic energy i didn't I, I think i mentioned that you and this new person have a lot of passion i think that was you or that was in taurus's reading but yeah you and this new person yeah um let's see here 
What's the significance of Capricorn season? It says divine portal. Get ready to awaken your connection to the spirit realm. The divine forces are helping you transform your life. So something's going to change or some type of like divine intervention is going to happen when it comes to this, this connection in Capricorn season. Give me one more card on that. We have options. Uh oh. It says you may be focusing too much on one thing or one person that you're following, failing to see there's other great options. Ooh. So what's this mean for this connection that they're in? We have celebrate. Oh, somebody may be realizing something here. What is this? Tell me what, 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 what this means for my for my Gemini's. Passion and boundaries. True love. I feel like somebody maybe is real is gonna maybe realize that they've been placing focus on things that they shouldn't have, that they should have been maybe placing more focus on you or vice versa. All right. It says celebrate the progress you've made and appreciate all that you have. You've come a long way. Maybe you guys are gonna be feeling like you finally like have kind of like honed in on something. You were focusing on things that no longer served you and now you're releasing those things and now you're you're opening yourselves up to a golden opportunity here we have passion here again we have sexuality and passion there's untapped potential it's time to take action on your passion and make magic happen and we have boundaries start building and preserving better boundaries in order to protect your emotional and mental space but we have true love it is safe for you to love open up your heart again and create an emotional flow so that's the significance of capricorn season um there was another one i wanted to get clarity on what do they already know? It says you already know. What do they already know? Clarity. You guys already have the clarity. Create some space to get clarity so you may see the fantastic future that lies ahead of you. And we have justice. It says justice will be done to those who oppose you. The truth will be revealed. Yeah, I feel like that's about that X. Gosh. All right, guys. So this is what I have for you. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for purchasing or purchasing. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you can take something from this reading. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your evening and I will talk to you soon. Bye.